Milwaukee claimed the crown with the help of some new Forge batteries, but tonight, DeWalt wants a shot. Ryobi has a new jigsaw you're going to like. We've got drills, chainsaws, jacks, boxes, RC mowers, sanders, screwdrivers, and more. Plus another platinum tool deal from Ohio Power Tool. This is the Tool Show. Welcome back to all fans, I'm Sarah, that's Rob, and we took another field trip down to Ohio Power Tool this week to grab another new tool for some lab tests. We have a ton of great tool videos that you won't want to miss, but first, we got a bit of good news from Ryobi. Where is your iPad? Oh, I can't find it. Are you just going to not have an iPad? Oh no, I'm going to have Spencer like take the one from two weeks ago and just edit it in and just put it right there. He can do that? Yeah. Okay. That is the Anu Ryobi 18 volt 1 plus HP compact brushless barrel grip jigsaw. That means this new saw is compact, powerful, and built as the gods intended. Blessed, Blessed be. be. It cuts quickly with its 900 to 3200 SPM and a 1 inch stroke length. It's the smallest and lightest weight jigsaw in the entire Ryobi 1 plus system. It can cut up to 120 feet through half inch plywood on a single charge on a tiny 2 amp hour battery. It has a variable speed dial with six different speeds and an interesting auto mode that they say starts slow for maximum cut accuracy and adjust speed after sensing the material for smooth, efficient cutting. It has four orbital settings for various applications, a vacuum port and dust blower switch to help you keep your line, and it even features a 40% drop in vibration over the PCL525. It also has a tool-free blade change, an LED work light, and non-marring shoe. The new Ryobi 18 volt 1 plus HP Compact Brushers Barrel Grip Jigsaw will arrive in August for 139 bare or 189 in a 2 amp hour kit. Now a couple of weeks ago, I snuck down to Ohio Power Tool to borrow a pair of Milwaukee 8 and 12 amp hour forged batteries and ran a few tests on our boring rig and the results were anything but. Utilizing the forged batteries on a Milwaukee M18-2903 drill, we were able to demonstrate a significant performance boost. But a lot of you asked me to compare it to the newly released DeWalt DCD-1007 using their PowerStack batteries. Fortunately, our buddies at OPT once again had my back. Well, no new pipeline product this week down at OPT, but they did say they just happened to get a demo of DeWalt's most powerful drill ever. And we know how to test it, don't we? Let's go. All right, back at Ohio Power Tool Super the Gun. So Lauren, I think, has uh, a new DeWalt drill that I'm really excited about. So we'll see here in a second. Hi, Lauren. How are you? Good. How's it going? Look at this. So this is this a DCD 1007? Yes. 1007B. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. So this is supposed to be their most powerful drill they've ever made, right? I believe so. Yeah. It's the bear tool. Um, Which we have, we have some of their, I want to say, power stack. Yeah. battery so yeah. we'll use that and we're going to test it up against the milwaukee 2903 and see how it does perfect thank you Absolutely. always appreciate it yeah. so what we have here is the brand new dewalt dcd 1007 this is their absolute monster of a hammer drill now we're not going to be using it in hammer drill mode just drill mode but essentially what dewalt promises is that when you use these new xr tools with their enhanced batteries like their two power stacks we have we should get really really impressive numbers so what we're going to do is the same thing we did with milwaukee's 2903 which is their drill driver not their hammer drill and we're going to use a brand new stinger bit from spider and we're going to drill the same holes we did a couple weeks ago to see how fast it is. First of all, with a standard 4 amp hour DeWalt battery, then the small 1.7 amp hour power stack, and then finally their new 5 amp hour power stack and see how well it does. You guys ready to test? Better put on my safeties. Let's go. All right, so that first one we did with the four amp hour battery, the standard battery, did not seem that fast. It was nowhere near as fast as the Milwaukee with the high end batteries. I know that much. But uh, now we're going to use our first uh, power stack, which is a tiny little 1.7 amp hour one. So 
see what it can do. Okay, the 1.7, Sarah and I both feel like it may have gone faster, but again, still nowhere close to that second. I mean, it was literally about one second to go all the way in with the 2903 from Milwaukee and their biggest 12 amp hour battery. Now this guy is no slouch. This is a five amp hour power stack, which means it's got lithium pouch technology in it. It's full. I've got it set on speed three. We're gonna drill this in as quick as we can. Let's see what it does. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. The five amp hour is way faster. Didn't you think, Sarah? Yeah. Like it was way, way quicker. Do you think it was a second though? Do you think it was as fast as Milwaukee? I can't tell. It, it was definitely faster than before. I'll tell you what, this this has a wild amount of power. And it is significantly different when you put the right battery on it, just like Milwaukee. So I guess that tells us a lot about modern battery technology. But either way, also telling us once we get these numbers, just how good this drill is. Let's go see. All right, the numbers are in. The average speed for the new DCD-1007 with the standard 4 amp hour battery was 2.5 seconds. Switching to the 1.7 amp hour power stack brought it down to 2.1, and the 5 amp hour power stack brought it down to only 1.26. So there are two big things here to note. First of all, no, it did not beat the Milwaukee 2703 when I put the 12 amp hour forged battery on it, which of course, has tabless cells, but we're obviously missing a battery here from DeWalt. They recently announced a new DeWalt 8 amp hour power pack battery, which has, you guessed it, tabless cells, which tells me that this race isn't over. Unfortunately, the new 8 amp hour doesn't come out till next month, so our story is only half over. As soon as we can get the new battery, we'll get a hold of another DCD-1007 and see if the power pack battery knocks the Milwaukee out. Moving on to our favorite videos of the week, starting with Machinery Nation, who opened up a brand new Milwaukee dual battery chainsaw to see if it's really as powerful as they claim. Rob over at Toolbox Buzz decided to give the new DeWalt and Irwin Jacks a try and compare them directly to the OG Viking arm. Jake White, he continues his quest to find the best possible modular tool storage system, and this week he's comparing the ModBox Hybrid Box versus the Milwaukee Packout Compact Toolbox. Tim Johnson has a really unique robotic lawnmower this week. It's the world's first robotic real mower. And as any real mower fan will tell you, there is no other way to cut your lawn than with a real mower. Here and I thought I was a barrel grip snob. But now you can get the perfect cut with a robot instead. Tools Tested is testing a fake DeWalt against a not fake DeWalt, but promises not fake results. So you should check it out. Sounds like fake news. Tools and Stuff is back reviewing new Makita tools and this week launching a pair of videos. One featuring the new Makita 40 volt XGT detail sander and the other their XGT rotary sander. Taylor at Tinker with Tools has the new DeWalt DCD-1007 as well and puts it to work against a bunch of our favorites. TTC recently tested cordless screwdrivers and discovered that Amazon's own Denali brand was a super beast in disguise. But their viewers demanded more testing and this week they delivered with four new contenders, each aiming to bring Amazon down. Clint brought the new Milwaukee M12 baby circular saw into the tool review zone to see if the M12 platform might just be ready to be your only platform. All right, it's time again for another platinum tool deal from Ohio Power Tool. Now, every week we share an exclusive coupon code that saves you a ton of money, but it only works for the first 25 people who use it. This week you can get $50 off a $100 or more purchase of any in-stock Diablo blade or accessory. But you have to be fast to make sure you have your best shot each week. Be sure to not only subscribe, but click the bell notification so you don't miss it. The code you need this week is TS27549. Good luck. I want to thank Flex, Skill, Tested HQ, and Ohio Power Tool for continuing to support our show and our community of tool fans. We could not do this without you. If you can, do something kind for a neighbor this weekend, and Sarah and I will see you next week. So if you can just do that with your iPad, do I have to be here next week? Yes, yeah, Sarah, you need to be here next Aww. week.
All right, guys, ready to test? I need to put on my safeties. So you guys ready to test? Better put on my safeties. You guys ready to test? Got to put on my safeties. All right, you guys ready to test? Got to put on my safeties. All right, you guys ready to test? Better put on my safeties. All right, you guys ready to test? Got to put on my safeties. I need to wear safeties for this bit.